All right, guys, we're winging it. No microphone, so hopefully you guys hear me okay. But this building's pretty insulated, so it doesn't do bad. We don't get over here and do videos very often. You will see some clips like on TikTok and Facebook and Instagram, but we don't get over here very often to do videos. So this is what we refer to as showroom one. This was our first official showroom. Uh, once it was built, we kind of outgrew it immediately. We also got a media area up front, a merch area upstairs, um, our night watchman upstairs, and uh, a lot of memorabilia. We need to kind of organize it a little better, but you got a couple of roll signs in the background. Some pretty cool stuff. But anyway, over in here, you see some classic Chevrolet iron. We're really focusing on the video of this one here is this OBS. This OBS is headed out to Pennsylvania, if I remember correctly, to a good customer who's been communicating. He said, hey, I got my truck sold. This is what I want. He's seen the videos, and he's getting a beautiful truck. So it only really, really is unfortunate that it is pouring down raining today, so it's going to get filthy on its way home to him. But he paid for it this morning. Transporter's picking it up this evening. He's going to have his truck tomorrow. So very, very quick turnaround. And this is probably hands down, other than the one Daniel just built from scratch, one of the cleanest OBS trucks you will find. Undercarriage is solid, beautiful lift kit, interior is phenomenal. And we all know the crew cab short beds are rare to start with. On top of it, big block, fuel injected. A lot of them have leather. This is an AI make sure and only 97,000 proper documented miles really cool truck came from one of our uh, video followers that actually reached out and said hey I don't have a square body but I've got an OBS and uh, we were able to make a deal so another thank you guys for following I usually say that at the end of the video thank you guys for following thank you for the support our industry has changed and we're trying to change with it we realize a lot of people follow us through here I know I go home and watch YouTube so I get it Thank you guys for choosing our videos to watch and thank you for following along because it does mean a lot. It also is one of the driving forces of our business. Of course, you know, only a small portion because the internet and our website obviously trump everything because they're the ones that people know to go to. We've had our website for right at 30 years now. Uh, but we do enjoy that you guys get to follow along with some of the stuff that's happening. And again, we're trying to dodge the rain. Christian's over there taking pictures. We got our bucket trucks out. If you're watching this currently, you obviously know about the hurricane that's going on. So it has got all of our commercial and response vehicles going crazy for sales. But this one's getting ready to leave. I wanted to catch a video while it was reasonably clean. AJ like drove around the block like at two miles an hour to try to keep the tires from splashing. Um, but it's got the newer mirrors, 35s, just for you guys that are OBS freaks, 35s, 20 inch wheels, decent offset. Uh, RCD lift kit, RCD race car dynamics. We've been using their lifts for a long time. We used to stock their lift kits. Um, and for this style truck and the 80s model trucks and even the 2000s model trucks, the different body styles, there's hard. it's hard to beat their kit. They were one of the first to include a really nice shock in their kit and we love them. Uh, this has got the really nice infab tubular steps. You can also see the RCD. We always liked that it was engraved like that. They were one of the first probably to have a CNC router machine to do metal. Uh, windows are tinted. The front light there, some people love it, some people hate it. Uh, fender flares are not hiding anything weird, but they do keep a lot of splash off the truck. Smoke lights, 454, that's an old school emblem, but this is a 454 truck, which is really neat. You can see he's got his temp tags on there. It is sold, it really is shipping out. Uh, Beautiful truck. You can scroll back a little ways because nowadays we'll put so many videos out. You'll see the undercarriage. I'll show the undercarriage of this truck. The bed cover has protected the bed tremendously. Just a really, really cool piece. While we're in here, the two Monte Carlos are still available, and those are some really cool cars. This very low mileage Corvette. Two, actually, I think we have three now, right? Yeah, we've got three of the Orion buggies in stock. Uh, we will be getting those out and doing some driving videos as soon as the weather breaks uh, because those need to be sold before winter comes. There's money out of the convertible in Virginia for winter. And then my Chevy 2 SS in here, Chevy 2 Nova, whatever you want to call it. 
which uh, I'll do another video. It's been in the background of a few people have always asked about it, and uh, it's kind of our family ride. I want to ride and uh, actually carry everybody. Two bench seats, six people. Daniel put the seat belts in it so we can actually carry the car seat. It actually has a roll cage, even though the car looks very original. It does have a roll cage in it. Um, small block, fuel injected. She needs a little cleaning, but we'll get it out here uh, soon and get it detailed up. We've taken it to a couple couple of events this season. Actually, we did not take it this year. This car hasn't been out at all this year, other than coming out to get driven to work. So the wheels need to be polished, needs to be cleaned under the hood. Um, and for you guys that are new subscribers that haven't seen this showroom, that's my dad's 62 Chevy up there that he's had since the 70s. And that was a 55 Bel Air that was just a car that he really liked and kept. Uh, my brother Brian drives it a lot with his family when we go to events. So we'll get those two cars down soon. Probably going to put batteries in them, get the dust off of them, and uh, get some content. The old 62 truck is a really popular one. It's been pretty cool. And we're going to get the shredder out. I have to figure out where the battery is and uh, get that thing running so we can rip it around a little bit. Just, uh, just told my girlfriend last night that you can get that thing out and ride the baby on it, but she'll love it. So, for those of you who haven't ever seen that, that's basically a skateboard with tracks. And it, it shreds. So, it should be called a ripper because it rips, but it shreds. So, pretty cool. Folds down, and you put it in the trunk of a car, a big car, big trunk. And then, one, two, three, I think we got four Polaris uh, slash Can Am side by sides left. One of them getting service at the dealer. That teal one there is completely ready. And the Can Am and the addition is ready. And sitting over there is the Vander Hall. So any of my convertible summertime vehicles, they're up for grabs. And also, I'll bring you guys a video, but that is a nasty golf cart. And we're going to plug that in charge it because we need to take that over to the show with me, Jay. It's time for that to go too. We need to organize because winter's coming. And this is where we use as a fail-safe cleaning area, display area. You can see the thing there where we do our videos. Uh, Tim, uh, you should do all the videos in here. So good old Tim help keep us going on this uh, channel here. Kept, kept some steam going and uh, we got to appreciate him for that. And then the two old ATVs, those are actually uh, mine and my dad's first, well, one in the same. It was his first ATV, my first ATV when ATVs first came out. Of course, he got it before I was old enough to ride it. We're going to restore it, and then I'm going to restore another one to actually ride. So I'm going to have a twin and then one to put away. So that's upcoming, too, for you ATV guys. Um, we got some really cool old school ATVs in our collection, and we'll be redoing some. So is that good, AJ? Did I do everything we needed? All right. While we were over here, we figured we'd knock it out. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the support. It is Friday. End of the month. Let me know some convertibles if you're interested. If you got any other questions on this showroom, let's just, on our way out, we'll show them in here. That's the bathroom where I find my guys hiding a lot, especially on hot days. Then in here, there's some pictures on the wall. Some of the old school shirts from the past. Light switch turns the lights off. So is that one. There we go. And a catch all, but this was our uh, media room for a while. And a lot of the old cool previous vehicles that we sold. Hemi Swap Jeep before the Hemi Jeep came out. And, oh, you name it. We've had some, some crazy stuff. Boats, performance boats, center console boats. Vipers. One day we're gonna to put together a huge collage of pictures and pick one of these buildings to put them all in and do something like this. So if any of you guys are good with photography, I can dump you about uh, 10,000 images that I would love to do like this. So reach out if that's something you're sitting at home and you'd like to do. Uh, I'll give you a job tomorrow knocking that out because I'm ready. And we've had a lot of cool vehicles between us everything they've done up at the shop, the vehicles we've sold, 
Um, last count, somewhere around 30,000 vehicles. So modified. So that's a that's a ton. That's a ton of vehicles, and a lot of them that are just one-offs that uh, never see again, never duplicate again because they were that cool. So thanks, guys, once again. Appreciate the support. Be safe out there. If the hurricane's battling your area, stay home, stay high, stay dry. Don't get high, but stay high on the ground. That did that really didn't go good. AJ's trying not to laugh, but uh, just stay safe. Prayers are with you guys that are affected by the hurricane, and uh, we'll see you guys on Monday.